Major Cleanup Initiative undertaken next to Silver Sands Resort. We're looking forward to continuing with more um, projects like this all around the island and we really are asking the public to please package the garbage properly, find a bin and put it in. Details to this story and more in the National Report. With the National Report, I am Chrysalina John. The lot of land next to the Silver Sands Resort and just behind the Grand Dance Post Office has been an ISO for quite some time. Littered with garbage and other forms of debris, the site has been a haven for rats, mice and pests such as the Aedes aegypti mosquito. But thanks to the collaborative effort of several government ministries, the Solid Waste Authority and Her Majesty's Prison, it is now undergoing a major transformation. More details from Janelle Hamlet. A massive cleanup drive involving the inmates of Her Majesty's prisons began on Wednesday, a move that Minister Alexandra Otway Noel says will benefit health and tourism. The south of the island is also our hospitality belt and we have a lot of visitors coming here. And I know that on some of the, um, the cruise lines and, and some of the airlines have been warning their, their people coming to the Caribbean that we are at risk for Zika virus. And so, you know, we have to take initiative and we have to make the necessary steps, not only to protect our own citizens, which is, of course, our number one priority, but also we don't want to end up with, um, with visitors getting sick. According to health officials, the Ministry of Health has been trying to curb the indiscriminate dumping on the property for quite some time to no avail, and efforts to get hold of the owner have also been futile. Hence, the Ministry's involvement in this campaign. We have had quite a number of complaints, both verbal complaints at our office as well as complaints from the, the public, you know, via the, the radio stations and so on, concerning the nuisance that exists here. So what we are doing today, you know, we have gotten the assistance of the prisoners and they are, you know, spearheading the cleanup of the area here. So this is more or less a first step in getting the area clean. Prison officer Ralston Warren said looking at the site from the road, it seemed like a one-day job. But upon entering, he estimates it will take three to four days to totally clear the site. He explains the tasks involved in day one. What we're doing today is um, we have the inmates here um, picking up the debris. Um, because as you see, there are many little heaps of old cloth and old you know, bottles and everything like that. So we're working on this. Um, plus, in order to get out the debris, um, from the bushes, we have to cut it, you know, and um, I think that um, doing those, doing these two things, you know, we would see the beauty now of cleaning the area. Officials say the next steps may involve deforestation and the demolition of the building to finally solve the problem. For the National Report, I am Janelle Hamlet. The European Union is allocating more than 3 million euros for regional integration development in Grenada and other Caribbean countries. Presenting her credentials to Governor General Dame Cecile Lagrenade this week, Ambassador of the EU Delegation to Barbados and the OECS, Her Excellency Daniela Thramacheri, said the EU strongly supports the regional integration process. She pointed to the importance of Grenada's role in this light, especially as a lead of science and technology in CARICOM. We have allocated 346 million euro towards regional integration in the Caribbean, a big sum and we're talking about grants. This is actually the major allocation under our program, which is altogether one billion that we have set aside for the whole Caribbean until 2020, pro proving that we continue to be the biggest development partner of this region. Governor General Dame Cecile Lagrenade says Grenada has benefited significantly from its relations with the EU, which continues to be the largest grant aid partner for development. So the European Development Banks Loans have been made available to Grenada to support the investment programs of the Grenada Electricity Services Company and for the construction of a locally owned resort, hotel resort. Lines of credit have also been provided to the Grenada Development Bank for the financing of small and medium private sector enterprises.
This is the National Report. More news after this break. The Aedes aegypti mosquito spreads the dengue, chikungunya and Zika viruses. It only needs a small amount of water to breed. Check for stagnant water regularly. Buckets including the rim should be drained and kept dried. Avoid using flower pot plates, but if you do, ensure they are emptied every two days. Get rid of water that settles in potted plants. Dish rack trees should be emptied daily. If your pipe leaks, throw away the collected water and rectify the leakage promptly. Mosquitoes also breed around the roots of plants. Change the water, rinse the roots and scrub the vase to remove mosquito eggs daily. Prime Minister Dr. The Right Honorable Keith Mitchell says the April 8th Grenada Invitational is a good opportunity for this country to showcase itself to the rest of the world. A number of top local, regional and international athletes will participate in the event and tickets will go on sale at the end of this month. More and more athletes are now expressing interest and their coaches and managers are now calling and want to find out how they can be part of the process. So it looks as if we may not just be having the the ultimate would be the one the, the day of the, the invitation itself, but it would be several activities of that week. And even the airlines are now talking about special flights. And the diaspora is alive and, and, and kicking as far as this activity is concerned. Some of the big names expected for the events are Kirani James, Kirk Felix, Rondell Bartholomew, LaShawn Merritt, Justin Gathlin, and Veronica Campbell Brown. And that's the National Report. I am Chrysalina John. Thank you for joining us.